Hello dear viewers and welcome to another episode of Kebab Connoisseur. It's a lovely spring Saturday afternoon here in uh, southern England. It's around 20 degrees Celsius and the time was perfect for me to go on a ride with a motorbike I recently bought here in the UK. Uh, let me show it to you. So it's right here. It's a cheap Chinese brand. Nothing special, but it's good enough for right now. Sure. Hey, what are we saying, guys? Cool. Sorry? Kebab connoisseur. Okay, well, some kids are gonna be in the vlog now. Right, so I'm in a place called Wells. Given that I'm recording this episode, you can probably imagine that this place does have a kebab shop and it's somewhere near it here. So please join me as we go and explore uh, the kebab quality here in Wells in southwestern England. Now I just saw that I could have parked a bit further up there, right in front of the kebab shop, but it is what it is. Hey, yeah. And get extra large lamb donor. No, that's it. So the pricing in this kebab shop is very interesting. Medium kebab seven, large nine fifty, and then extra large twelve pounds. That's a very big step in prices. Normally you have like medium eight, then large nine and extra large ten. 12 pounds for extra large kebab, that's quite a lot of money to give. I sacrifice both my health and my finances for this channel. Oh, sorry. Um, everything except cucumbers. Chili and garlic. Croatia. Croatia, yes. Croatia? Yeah. Russia? Uh, no, no, it's Eastern Europe, but Croatia, it's uh, next to Serbia and Hungary. Where are you from? Me from Bulgaria. Bulgaria? Yeah. Oh, Croatia is not far from Bulgaria. You from Russia? No, Croatia. Ukraine? Hrvatska. Hrvatska? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, no. okay. Hrvatska, yeah. Just 12 part okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You make video? Yeah, yeah. Where are you from, man? Croatia. Hrvatska. Hrvatska. Yeah. You enjoying around here? Yeah. I'm riding now with a motorbike around right. doing some videos and uh, yeah. just for the holiday, yeah? yeah? No, no, I live in Bristol. Oh, you live in Bristol? Yeah. But as I said, it's a nice day, it's Saturday, so yeah. I'm just riding around. I just it's very hot in this jacket. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sweating. Okay. Thank anyway, you thanks, guys. Have a nice day. Oof. So there it is, extra large kebab, 12 pounds, quite a lot, and it's not that heavy, although of course we'll need to use the scale to actually judge the kebab. So unfortunately now I'll need to stop recording as I get on the bike and I'll try to find some place where uh, it's nice to eat a kebab. I'm not seeing any benches around here. So I'll try to go to a park or something, which means that we will need to delay slightly eating this kebab. Okay, it seems I did not get a fork. Now without a fork I'm not gonna get far. I'm sure you would enjoy a video of myself eating without a fork, but I would find it quite disgusting and I would not uh, have a way to wash my hands later. Hey, sorry for that, can I get a fork? A fork. To fork is there, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, just this one, okay. Yeah, Last thanks. one. Thanks okay, one. thanks. Cheers. Well, it's my lucky day because I got the last fork they had in the shop. So without this fork, maybe they would have had to go in the back and get it for me or something, I don't know. Okay, so here's the bike. Let's jump on it and let's find some uh, place to eat.
Hello dear viewers once again, uh, please accept my apologies because I just realized that I've used the linear view instead of super wide when recording the previous shot. It proved to be very difficult to find a proper bench. However, luckily right behind me, now you should be able to see with a wide view, there's a bench and a table and if I flip the camera around you can see that we are actually in the courtyard of some church. So yeah, let's dive in into the weight and the taste of the kebab. Okay, so for 12 pounds, 939 grams. Well, that's really not great. So for 12 pounds, to get good value, 100 grams per pound, I should have gotten 1.2 kilos. This is not even one kilo, so already I'm not too happy about this place. Let's dive into the taste. Now they did pack it, nobody can complain that they didn't, because you can see here the box broke and the ingredients are falling out. However, my advice to them is to get a bigger box if uh, you are charging 12 pounds for a kebab. But anyway, I'll stay open-minded and let's see if maybe the taste is excellent and then it's well worth spending uh, 12 pounds on a kebab which is less than a kilo. So now you can see it here. It is genuinely loaded with meat. Cannot complain there. I can hardly see the salad at the bottom and I can also see some pita bread. It does look good. But again, I think that the box is not big enough for uh, the price that they are charging. Anyway, let's dive into the taste. They were generous with the sauce. There's a lot of sauce, especially on top. However, I wonder if it's going to be the same situation by the time I get to the vegetables. Sorry, am I just going to eat raw vegetables? I will try to move some of this meat on the side so I could also eat vegetables because I don't want to get in a situation where I've eaten all the meat and then there's just bread and vegetables left. I want to mix the flavors as I'm sure you already know because I repeat it in every single video. Yeah, so far the meat is standard quality, good but nothing special. Sauces. As I said, we got plenty of top of chili and garlic sauce, but chili is not spicy, it's kind of that sweet, slightly sweet taste. The salad kind of what I feared, since it was put on top and then meat on top of it, and then sauce was the last thing that was put. There was no intermediate layer of sauce in this kebab. Very little sauce has reached the salad, and then the salad tastes pretty plain, although the vegetables seem fresh enough. Now when I'm mixing the meat and salad myself, the taste is okay, but I'm really missing that spicy kick from the chili sauce. Yeah, there's really not much I can say about this kebab. It's very average so far. So unfortunately, I don't think that the price point justifies it. Now we still have pita bread here. Maybe pita bread will justify it if it's outstanding, if it's out of this world. Now the good thing about arriving here with a motorbike as opposed to bicycle is that I will not have any issues with finishing a big kebab because although I complained about the size of this kebab which is still a big one, it's just that it's not big enough for its price I think so after eating a kilo of a kebab it's usually very very difficult to even move much less a cycle back home uphill like I have to do here However, now when I'm motorized, it's a lot easier to just finish a kebab and go back home. Of course, I must not totally give up on cycling, because otherwise I'll become a fat bastard. Okay, I'm probably gonna get my hands quite dirty. I don't have this paper. It's an improvised tissue. Okay, this will not work because the bread just broke. So the quality of pita is also bog standard. Okay, I'm starting to get full. It's getting harder and harder to process this food. 
it's obvious the wallet in this kebab I've given a lot of thought which rating to give to it and it's gonna get 2.5 stars all the ingredients pretty much are bang average which would mean it gets free however the chili sauce is not spicy enough in my opinion and um, yeah that's gonna make it pull the rating down a bit from free so it's 2.5 stars however I'm still shocked that the kebab costs 12 pounds I think this must be the most expensive kebab I've ever bought I don't think I've yet paid 12 pounds for a kebab I suppose it's not that uh, surprising with inflation and everything but it is shocking nevertheless I'm already feeling really full I don't think there's point of me to stuff myself with this kebab I'll just pack it in a bag and then I have something to eat for dinner it's not that warm anyway so I'm not really losing anything by postponing but yeah that was uh, kebab and pizza wells or wells kebab and pizza I think in wells as the name suggests I think this is sufficient so yeah as always thanks for watching this episode and I'll see you in uh, another episode next Tuesday so that was Wells Kebab and Pizza in Wells, southwestern England. The kebab was unusually expensive at £12 for less than a kilogram and it is a sign of rampant inflation that these prices are even conceivable nowadays. The price is justified neither by the taste, which is rated at 2.5 out of 5, nor by the value for money, which sits at 78 grams per pound. With the wages not keeping up with the inflation, an average British worker can only afford 6 kilograms of this kebab per day. That is all for today. I apologize for the long break I've taken in the last few months and I thank you for your patience. I intend to keep the release schedule more consistent going forward with much shorter breaks between videos. There is still lots of material to be released and this channel is not going anywhere anytime soon. Hope to see you again soon in another episode.